we go after Kanye's head for this one little design right here, but all these others we say nothing about. This is how brainwashed our people are. This is going to be one of the realest videos I've ever done. This video right here. This video is about black Jamaicans versus black Americans and black people's inability to unite globally. I have to narrow it down to black Jamaicans versus black Americans because this is inspired by the incident that just happened concerning Kanye West performing in Jamaica and his selling of clothing online, merchandise online that had the Jamaica coat of arms and the Jamaican flag and the reaction that we got or we are still getting from a lot of Jamaican black people because it's only the Jamaican black people that are worried about it. First of all, let me show you this. I'm going to show you some pictures online. I'm in my office. I'm going to show you some pictures online on a computer and I'm going to tell you a whole bunch of stuff that's going to really shock some of you because you're not paying attention. You're not paying attention to the mind state that you're in. You're not paying attention to the way that you've been programmed. Okay? And you need to be deprogrammed. Now, anyways, watch this. So in my office, let's start off here. I have a big old Jamaican flag with a coat of arms in the middle of the flag. Right? Out of many one people. And I keep it here. That was not bought in Jamaica. That was not bought from a Jamaican. Right? My mom had a restaurant for years and that hung in her restaurant. She randomly picked that up at some store in the United States of America that was probably ran by, I think owned by some Chinese people that are not even Jamaican, have never been to Jamaica, but they sell a whole bunch of Jamaican stuff in there because there are a whole lot of Jamaicans around this area. All right, so like I've said to you before, right? Online, on the internet for many years, I've noticed that Jamaica's flags and um, coat of arms or insignias have been placed on merchandise and have been sold across the world. None of these companies are owned by black people. None of these companies are located in Jamaica. None of these companies are owned by Jamaicans, period, or located in Jamaica, period. But I never hear any Jamaican person make a big deal out of it, especially the black people. I've never heard any of them make a big deal out of it, more than how they've made out of Kanye West doing the same thing that these people have done. So one said to me yesterday, so Flo, the flag is okay, right? I said, hmm. He said, the flag is okay to sell on a shirt, but not the coat of arms. It's, it should be illegal. Now, let me tell my people something. You see this? You see this? This is a site online called Zazzle.com. Okay? And there are many more sites like it. But you know, and, and <laughs> the funny thing is, they even have, check it out, pet clothing. Pet clothing. The Jamaican flag on a dog. Most Jamaicans don't even like dogs. Not like that. Okay? Not, not enough to buy clothes for the dog. Let's be for real. Let's be honest. We don't put dogs in our beds. It's not a cultural thing as a Jamaican to put a dog in your bed. It's not a cultural thing as a Jamaican to dress your dog in clothing. Check it out. So here we are. White boy from overseas. He is wearing a coat of arms t-shirt. There it is. The coat of arms, the out of many one people. With the Jamaican flag. And they even have hats with the coat of arms. And bags. And none of this is Jamaican. Not Jamaican owned. Not Jamaican sold. Not a penny of this money will go to Jamaica. Or any Jamaican benefit. I'm going to show you some more stuff. The sick part about this, right, when, 
you, you have some Jamaican black females when they see a white boy wearing all this. Mmm, girl, him look goody. A white boy, I know, plus him have money and him have pretty hair. I'm a good up, good up, clean white boy. That's how they talk. Level of ignorance. So this person told me yesterday that no one can sell the coat of arms. Here is a whole page right here. Okay, and this is just Google.com. And here are many different places that are selling it. Redbubble, 2H Media, what's that? Spreadshirt.com, TeePublic, Zazzle, Sunan the Pick, uh, eBay.com, Etsy.com, Amazon.com. There are just a whole bunch of places where this stuff is sold. Look! Not one of these are the same place. That many. And this, this is the coat of arms. And in the middle somewhere, you have Kanye West's own right here. Right? So, we go after our black brother. We go after his head. There he Look at this. 100% pure Jamaican native. The coat of arms. Look at it. None of it is Jamaican as far as owned by... Jamaicans don't own any of these companies. Okay? Sad, but that's the way it is. Here's a shirt again. Look. There goes our coat of arms again. And this is called Cafe Press. I'm not subscribing. I'm just showing people. See? See? We love when white people steal from us. We love when the Asians steal from us. We love when they take our insignias from our country and they make clothing out of it and sell it back to us. We have no problem with it. We are fine with that. Don't let a black man do it though, because once a black man does it, we go in his pockets. We take out the calculator and we start calculating. Well, if he sells a jacket for $200 and he sells 5,000 of these jackets, how much is he going to make? Oh man, he's going to get rich. I hate to see friggin' black people get rich. That's us. Look at this. This is our Jamaican flag. Okay. This is a white girl. Wearing a Jamaican flag pants. This is how they do the clothing. Right? Y'all worried about Kanye West? Y'all being some hypocrites, right? Very hypocritical of us. Very hypocritical of us. I'm gonna talk about the unification of black people versus here we go. This is Kanye's stuff. That's the stuff that Kanye put up that we're giving him so much flack for. Okay? I'm going to talk about the unification of black people and the struggle between African Americans and Jamaicans. Because for some reason, we seem to be happier being robbed by white people. For some reason, we seem to be happier being exploited by Chinese, Japanese, and whoever else can do it to us. But we don't want to see our own make a dollar out of our own stuff. Now, let me put this camera away, this computer away, and talk to you face to face. Here we go. Okay, let me start out by saying, first of all, we have never been fair to our own kind, okay? We are the type of people that we, we're quick to forgive others outside of our race, but we will malice and hate our own for a lifetime, for small things, but we will forgive strangers or those outside of our race for killing us. We will forgive them for every other atrocity known to mankind. So we've never been fair 
to our own kind. So me showing you all this online and telling you that it's here, you can go look it up and see it for yourself. That people of other races have been taking all the Jamaican stuff, putting it up on clothing, even dog clothing, pet clothing, and putting it for sale and are making millions of dollars online off of it means nothing because Kanye West is who they're after now. Your own black brother, right? I've seen where Kanye sells, say Kanye is selling a shirt for $150. I've seen black people, my Versace, my $500 shirt, $500 for Versace. Versace cares zero about the black community or your black ass, right? But here is Kanye, a black man, that can never change his blackness. He will always be black, right? You're complaining. Oh, hell no, I'm not paying no $150 for no damn Yeezy shirt. But you pay $500 for the white man's Versace. And you're so happy when you buy it, your artists put it in every song. Versace, Versace, I'm wearing Versace. The, the programming is serious, right? When Kanye went to Jamaica recently, did his free concert, pumped a million dollars into the economy, that's their business. They did that. Okay, he did that. I don't see what the big deal is. My thing about this black American versus black Jamaican, I did a video about this a, a while back, and I feel the need is now to update that video again. Check it. So, what black Americans are saying is this. We come to their country, right? We leave Jamaica. We come to the U.S. And when we get here, a lot of us turn our backs on them. Forget about their struggle, their civil rights movement. Forget about that they were here to pave the way so us blacks can come into the country and have some rights. What we do when we get here is we act as if we are different from them, so different from them that I now mix with no Yankee. When I keep Yankee friend, that kind of stuff. I, I, honestly, I've heard it. I've heard it. And I've told stories before where when I first came to the, the US, I was made fun of, but I was eight years old and that's what kids do. They used to make fun of the way I dressed because my mom used to dress me a certain way and I didn't get all the name brand stuff, right? They used to make fun of just the accent, the way I spoke. That's what kids do. I didn't hold that against all black Americans. I was just telling my story of my experience growing up in the U.S. I used to hear the whole get back on the banana boat and all that other stuff. As I got older, that changed. And as the people around me grew with me, that changed, right? We have forgotten that we are the same people. Those boats dropped us off, speaking ancestrally, those boats dropped us off in different locations, right? But we are the same people. So we developed different customs and a different culture or different ways of living, but we are the same people. And yes, some of us have been here all along. I'm very well aware of that as well. But going off of Marcus Garvey's teachings then, which is one of Jamaica's national heroes, by the way, and it's heroes, it's that time of the year um, in Jamaica to celebrate the heroes. Going off of Marcus Garvey's teachings, each one teach one, Africa for Africans at home and abroad. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, if you're considered a black man, you're an African first, we seem to have forgotten that, just that. So we fight our brothers. 
My thing about the whole Kanye West thing is they're going on and on and on about it. And it's not it's not okay. It's not okay. They want Bobsy Grange. I don't know why Kanye took it down because honestly, if they were to bring I think he took it down because he doesn't want any bad blood and he has respect for because I am sure I'm sure he has a, a team around him that says yo so before we put these up right I want you to know and I'm sure he said yo check and see if there are any uh, copyrights or any approval that's needed and they're like, nah, there are no copyrights, there are no approvals that's needed. Matter of fact, we're looking online right now, and there are literally a hundred. There are literally a hundred on this one page of different dot coms from different parts of the world that are owned by Asians, Chinese, Japanese, Indians, and Europeans from different parts of Europe from Germany, from Switzerland, from Italy. And these are all selling the same thing that Kanye West was selling. I'm not religious. I'm not into the whole a white Jesus um, is my God thing. So I'm not defending any of that. If he wants to come to Jamaica and they gave him the right to be there to perform and he pops up does his concert and leaves then more power to him and more power to the people that went if they wanted to go I'm not in the business of controlling people's lives and their system of beliefs and all that but I will say if we are to be true to each other and we are to be fair to each other then we have to be honest and we have to look at this and we have to say Damn, if we're going to ask him to take it down, we have to ask the powers that be that asked him to take it down, which is Bobsy Olivia Grange. We have to ask her to ask all these people to take it down. Do you think they have the time and the resources? I'm way over in Germany, Italy, Switzerland, Spain, South Africa. I'm way across the pond right Jamaica doesn't have the resources or the time to stop everybody from doing this and for those of you Jamaicans listen we do this to American stuff all the time I've seen many Jamaicans with American flags all over their clothing and insignias even America's military stuff I've seen Jamaican entertainers and I did 10 years in the US military and when I see it on a uniform it's like an upside down private first class rank and I'm thinking to myself this guy is supposed to be some top ranking because that's the image he portrays through his music man a gangsta man a bad man and then he comes out in what seems to be army apparel but made to be of the fashion world with military insignias on it like service bars that would tell you if you've been in uh, the war in Afghanistan if you were first second tour third tour if you went to Iraq for combat or peacetime if you were in Bosnia Croatia Kosovo these and they're littered on their chest I've seen this on Jamaican people and nobody complains right It's just like when one of their artists sing a song on a dancehall rhythm. Everybody gets mad. Oh, they're my teeth dancehall. They're teeth in dancehall. But when, but Jamaicans have been taking American music and singing it over for years. I remember ever since I was growing up, I used to think Sanchez was the one that sang a certain song or whatever other Jamaican artist would make a US uh, a rendition of a, a US song and I would think it was our song and then as I got older and I heard the original 
I'm saying to myself, well, either they copied us or we copied them. And I do my little research and found out that the original was made way before our artist took it and sang it over. And now that I'm wise enough to know about copyright infringement, I'm thinking, didn't they get sued? Was that legal? But we think it's okay. How is it okay for us to take their things and fashion it into clothing, their military apparel or military insignias, fashion it, put it into fashion, and wear it like nothing's wrong? But they can't take any of our stuff and put it on clothing and wear it. And we'll, else we have to call Mrs. Grange to, 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 to put a stop to this. Tell them, take it down. Like I said, black Americans have paved the way through struggle. It wasn't easy here for them. And it's still not easy here for any black person. You know it. You see it. We're the only ones that get pulled over and get shot. Oh, I was reaching for my wallet. You get shot by the same police officer, that same white police officer that told you driver's license registration. And most people keep driver's license registration either in their wallet, which would be in their persons, on their person, in their purse, or in the glove compartment. And you reach to get that glove compartment, and pow, 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 he was reaching for something. It only happens to us. Matter of fact, I've never seen a black police officer do that to a white civilian. But white police officers do it to us all the time. And get away with it. Like the girl which they most recently shot through the window of the house when they were called to do a wellness check. This is the struggle. So when we, when, when we come into their country and act like we're better than them, I can see why they would be offended. And I've had other people try to divide us. When I go to work in the corporate environment and I'm not doing YouTube, I've been told many a times by others, I know you weren't, I know you, I, I, you're, you're different. They're definitely different. And I knew it. I knew you were from, some, not, not from here, from someplace else. Because you're not like them. Not like them because I have an accent. Or I'm not like them because I've been programmed to be subservient. Because when I work around them, we're all like the same. So how come you see I'm not like them? This is deep. This is deep. Kanye should be able to sell what he has online. And like I said, I don't think he took it down because he was forced to, because he didn't have to. He could have left it up there and said, you know what? I came to Jamaica, I put up a free concert. Yeah, it was for promotion of my music, so what? I still paid the trip. I didn't ask you guys for anything. I brought a 120 piece choir with me, paid for every single person, paid for my own security team, paid for everything. Spent about a million dollars, pumped it into your economy, US dollars in one night. If you want me to take this down, Take me to court. If you want me to take this down, tell everybody else from these hundreds of sites that are online on Google to take theirs down as well because they have theirs have been up way before mine and you've never complained about them. Yeah. crazy man just looking at it it's crazy and and for those of you who don't know you all you got to do is type in Jamaican um, coat of arms clothing 
If you think no one is selling our coat of arms, look, I typed in Jamaica coat of arms clothing and literally that many different companies pop up. And none of these are Jamaican. None. It's being sold on Amazon.com. It's being sold at tpublic.com. It's being sold at ebay.com. Pinterest.com. It's being sold at... Look at all these places. Clevelandpeople.com. Zazzle.co.uk. Cafepress.com. Picklick.com. And the list goes on and on. Wow. So you could put up Jamaica National Symbols clothing. And here we go. Look. That many pop up. This many pop up. We sure love to be exploited by the others. You know, I think the clothing was a distraction. I think the clothing thing with Kanye West was a distraction. Matter of fact, let me tell you what will happen to the pieces that Kanye made. With so much controversy surrounding these pieces, right? And they were up for sale and then they were pulled these pieces are going to become classics. These pieces are going to now go for the jacket that Kanye was selling for $500 or $200. He'll probably be able to now sell them for $1,000 a piece because of the story that goes with it. That's all we did. And it probably won't be him. It'll be somebody else that will replicate the design and have it for sale somewhere else online. Oh man. The sad part is the distraction. This is a distraction. A big ass distraction that, look, check it out. The amount of people that showed up to the Kanye West concert that's fine if you want to go to the Kanye West concert it's free he's there he made it about some form of some level of religion Christian stuff if that floats your boat then go ahead and have a good night out and enjoy yourself but I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again where are the same amount of people when the march for cockpit country is called come out in numbers Show solidarity. Raise your voices together. Show the government that we do not want the deforestation of cockpit country because it will devastate the ecosystem of Jamaica. How important is that? Nobody shows up. Everybody is online with their fingers. Leave cockpit country alone. No mining in cockpit country. Hey boy, Andrew Holness, or E that boy, you, you, you blah blah blah. And then when it's time to show up in numbers, you got 20 old people and five youths, and then about 50 mid aged people straggling down the side of the road. No big number for the protest. Imagine if that many people showed up for cockpit country. The world would pay attention. The government would pay attention. But nobody shows up. So I wouldn't be surprised if they go mining. Because they know that no one cares. And the very few that do care aren't enough to change anything 
without the help of others. That's just the way it is. So that's the distraction. Kanye West's clothing. For sale. And <clears throat> StockX.com. Check it. See? <laughs> this is what I was telling you guys. Kanye West clothing, right? Kanye already took it down. But before he could take it down, somebody else realized that this piece of clothing has now has a big story with it. So we forced Kanye to take it down. But StockX.com now has it up. Check it out. I'm going to take this camera off and show you. See? And this is how they advertise it. This is StockX.com. And StockX.com has Kanye West, Jesus is King, seal, long sleeve, brown. This is the same thing that Kanye was told to take down or asked to take down. Do you see? Do you see when I said that the price is going to go up? Look, it is now one of these items, a novelty item. 750 US dollars, lowest asked. And they're bidding for it. There goes your coat of arms. Okay? I don't know if that is our coat of arms though because our coat of arms looks like this I have one in my house right here but this is the Kanye West clothing 750 dollars every piece that Kanye had up for sale has been replicated already and is being sold still. Here we go. Kanye West, Jesus is King, Detroit seal. $200 for shirts, $200. Kanye West, Jesus is King seal t-shirt. Kanye West, Jesus is King t-shirt, $300. City of Kingston, it says. And that's the shirt that he was actually wearing at the event. $673 is the asking for that jacket. And check it. At least he put a black Jesus there. Leave your comments in the comment section below, man. SoFlo TV, I'm out. Peace.